Hi, I'm Carl Schilling. I'm the founder and CEO of the Advocacy Network, and I want to welcome you today to our Advocacy Network virtual campus and community. Now, today I'm going to be making a, uh, a small, brief presentation, and you were probably introduced to this by your own financial concierge. So again, your financial concierge can help you in many areas, especially with what we're going to show you today on a very exclusive and a more lengthy presentation and help you identify how these things can work for you, okay, in our presentation. And lastly, we also have subscriptions for the public so you can get a feel for our uh, 3D world and exactly what we can do. All right, I'll give you a brief little uh, view. And we have all kinds of uh, areas in this campus. We have all kinds of educational opportunities. We have all kinds of information all about financial independence. Everything we do with one thing in mind is to basically talk about financial independence. So I'm going to walk us right into the auditorium where I'm going to make this brief presentation for everybody and give you a feel for exactly what it is we do, how we do it, and what you should know about uh, for your business. We assume you're an entrepreneur, self-employed, small business owner. What we're going to talk to you about today is financial leverage, and we're going to talk to you about how to use all the tools of financial leverage for yourself and to maximize those tools, okay? So let me get over here, and you can see we're in the auditorium. I get behind the lectern, and we're going to have a chance to speak with you directly today. So let's, uh, let's get a feel for what we're going to discuss today. As you can see, this auditorium is always available for everybody, and I'm going to zoom in for our presentation. Okay, so uh, what I want to talk to you today is about how entrepreneurs and self-employed can save taxes, create tax-free income, and most importantly, gain living benefits at the same time. Now here's the problem. As a small business owner, uh, the problem is that you are having some issues as a small business owner by being overtaxed, you're burdened with profitability decimation, and you face market risk, taxation risk, and liquidity risk. Now, what I'm going to show you today is how to eliminate all these risks. The, these are the three risks that are eating your profits. Market risk means the risk of your specific business, the industry or sector that you're in, plus the overall economy, what's going on in the full economy and how it impacts your business. Tax rate risk is that you have equity in your business and at some point it's going to be taxable and that's going to be an unknown future rate. This is when you constructively receive whatever uh, you are uh, retaining inside your corporation. And lastly, you have liquidity risk. Business equity is very difficult and usually very expensive to extract out of your business. The other situation that we find is that many businesses are just poorly structured from the very beginning. So this is particularly true in the world of sales and uh, insurance, insurance agencies, independent insurance agents, Real estate practices, real estate brokerages, real estate independent agents, medical practices and legal practices many, many times have structured improperly due to maybe bad advice, maybe misguided advice, just maybe not having enough awareness of how to structure the business properly. Now, here are the basic, uh, <clears throat> the basic type of entity structures. First of all, you have the C corporation, which is the age old, been around forever. And that structure, when done properly, it uh, gives the individual a chance to gain tax advantaged income while also using business equity and create tax free income and living benefits. Now, we're going to show you that as part of the solution. But inside the corporation itself, there's certain things that go on, which we'll show you next slide. And your other option is having a limited liability corporation, a sub S or sole proprietor, also partnerships as well. However, we're not getting involved in the partnership side. Again, that's not a structure that has a very favorable tax advantage, okay? So here's the situation now. In those other areas, the LLC, the sub S and the sole proprietor, you really limit 
the tax advantages, and you expand all three risks that we just went over. Now, the tax advantages, let's look at the C corporation, start there. First of all, both of these, all these entities, except for the sole proprietor, has some form of inoculation from personal liability. So you can protect yourself in some areas. And, and again, not all of it is unpierceable, so sometimes you have to have an additional layer of help. That's what we're going to show you as well. Um, basically, in a, in a basic C corporation, you have the ability to take a small salary, which limits the taxation, and it also limits the self-employment taxation. Our financial concierge can show you exactly how to maximize that. Your profits can sit in equity, which is basically retained earnings in a C corporation, and all of those dollars end up being subject to the three risks. The market risk, <clears throat> the tax rate risk, and the liquidity risk. Now, in the other areas with the LLC and with the sub uh, S and the, and the professional corporation, we mentioned lawyers and we mentioned doctors, and the sole proprietor, you, again, have some inoculation from the personal liability, but there's none with the sole proprietor. And then all monies, basically, are a form of earned income. They're all a form of ordinary income, so salary. So you're going to pay the full amount of self-employment taxation. You're going to have to pay that out, and the profits are ordinary income. There's no ability for retained earnings in these areas. And again, all three are subject to the three risks. So here's the solution, what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you how to get over the overtaxation, away from the burden of your profits being decimated, and away from the market risk, taxation risk, and the liquidity risk. Let us show you briefly, and again, these are concepts that your financial concierge would have to spend much more time explaining specifically your situation and how it would look for you. And again, the financial concierges are all trained professionals who understand how to maximize the use and leverage of life insurance. Not every life insurance agent can do this. They may all tell you they will or they can, but very few have the real expertise. Our people are trained for this, okay? They're coached, trained, and developed for this, so they can answer all your questions and build the plan properly. I myself happen to be a certified financial education instructor, and we make sure that every one of our financial concierges has your best interest at heart and nothing else. So now let's look at the multiple benefits we can build inside a life insurance contract. First of all, we can create tax, legacy, and liquidity. Most importantly, and the thing that can never be overlooked, is we can show you, a business owner, uh, entrepreneur, self-employed, how to create tax-free income. That's priceless. There's no other way to create tax-free income. We're the only solution that can provide tax-free income. We can also provide financial leverage through financing opportunity. In other words, you don't need a bank. We can show you how to turn yourself into the banker. You can be the financier. You can enjoy the benefits of financing money out of life insurance into your own business, taking a tax deduction for it and paying yourself um, a, a level of non-ordinary income on that interest on the loan. So we can show you all that. Um, there's legacy for the business, it, whether that's business continuation because maybe uh, you get sick or can't perform, uh, and also business succession. And lastly, a tax-free estate, which is going to be on both sides, whether it's on your personal side or on your business side, your corporate side. Now, on the living benefit side, uh, there's a lot you can do with life insurance from a living benefit. First of all, if you have critical care, you have a heart attack, you have cancer diagnosis, these things can allow you to take money from the death benefit early. You can accelerate those benefits. Let's say that you're terminally ill and you're, you're, you're acknowledged that sometime in 12 to 18 months, give or take, you, you can, that's it. it you're, you're on that terminal cycle. You can get monies early. So again, this can subsidize benefit and even be used in, in some form of your health insurance program. Long-term care. You get to the point of, uh, uh, of beyond retirement or older, and you may have a long-term care event. Again, these, uh, 
the life insurance can be set up to be a program that's going to take care of that need as well. Again, we told you about uh, tax-free income, but also the death benefit in all life insurance policies is totally tax-free. It's going to pass through to your business or it's going to pass through to your family, but it's always going to be tax-free. So you're going to create a family legacy in an estate that is totally tax-free. And lastly, once again, as I mentioned, you have those banking opportunities. You turned yourself into the bank. So I want to thank you so much for your time with me here today. I want you to realize that your financial concierge can be the one who can explore all these options. Now, if you want to speak to me direct, you can call me at 321-947-3220. And you can also email me uh, right there. It's kshilling at theadvocacynet.com. Or you can look us up at theadvocacynet.com and see everything that you need to see from us. Now, I'm going to take us back out. On our, way, uh, on our way out, I'm going to take us back to the front of our world and, uh, and show you just a brief, little, uh, a brief little look at the campus so you get a feel. Now, once again, as I told you, there are subscription opportunities for the public, for yourself. We like to take care of people. Here's the situation. The Advocacy Network was created and has... Uh, been in business for quite a while now, but we were created for one uh, conception only, and it was to eliminate all forms of financial victimization. Now, we do that by providing awareness, providing financial literacy education, which is always uh, pretty free, almost free. And then lastly, we help people become financially independent. That's really our focus. So to date, we have saved the public over 12,000 people we have saved in excess of $10.6 million and still counting. Those are dollars that would have been directly lost to some form of financial victimization, be it a scam, fraudulent uh, opportunities, or the major component is predatory sales tactics. Bad information, incompetence, and just pure manipulation in sales in a financial world can be tremendously destructive for you and for your family. So really what we want to do is provide the right information at the right time and make sure that it's focused on one thing and one thing only. Your best interest is our only concern. And that's why this campus exists. Now we have this campus for people who might want to just be uh, come in and get information and just learn and have a, a, a strong education and learn how to become financially independent or they can also find themselves a financial concierge in this world, financial concierges who we've trained, who we've educated, who we've helped learn how to help people like you become financially independent, because that's what it's all about in the end of the day. We are committed to helping people become financially independent. Are you interested? That's all we can ask for. So again, this presentation was probably given to you by your financial concierge or through your financial concierge, or maybe you found it on YouTube, or maybe you found it on Facebook, or possibly LinkedIn, wherever you found it, or, or even Twitter, wherever you found us on social media or not, you know, either call me, we'll get you in touch with a financial concierge, or go back to your financial concierge. I look forward to helping you become financially independent. Have a wonderful day.